If you've used a MacBook, you know that it's exquisitely designed, all the way down to the fancy pop-out cable winders on the power brick. Unfortunately, if you use the built-in cable winders the wrong way, you can permanently damage your power adapter and even create a nasty fire hazard. You see, Norm's winding technique puts too much stress on the spot where the power cable emerges from the brick, which is the weakest part of any power brick. Ultimately, this exposed the power cords and made his fancy, designed in California power brick a fire hazard, which forced him to buy an expensive new brick from Apple. The correct way to wind a MacBook's power cable is to create a loop, or pigtail, where the cable comes out of the brick, then wind the cable around the fancy cable winders. Finish your wrap by using the included clip to keep the end in place. This keeps stress off of the weak spots on the cable while still letting you wind your cable like the obsessive compulsive neat freak you are. And that is the tested and approved way to coil your MacBook's power cord.